We're racing in the Irish Hills of Michigan. And right away, Kevin Harvick tucks in behind the two of Brad Keselowski. William Byron in the 24 is going to stay on the bottom of the racetrack as they go through one and two. He found a hole, jumped up on the outside lane, and watch Clint Boyer on that bottom lane. You heard him talking about what a disadvantage being on the bottom is. Clint started in fifth. Let's see where he ends up. Falling back considerably. So Joey Logano dived to the bottom in that yellow 22. Joey, an aggressive move to the bottom. Put himself in a situation if he cannot find a place to go in the top lane, he's going to get hung out right here. It's a little bit of a hole in front of Menard, could not take it. I'm sorry, that's Blaney in the 12 car. And you see how close they're running to the PJ1, that very dark area in the turns. It was put in turns one and turns turns one and two and turns three and four. As we see now, Chase Elliott trying to make sure that the 22 of Logano can't side draft him. 48 is slow going down the back stretch. Definitely not what he was hoping for to start this race. Yeah, he, 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 you see the smoke inside the car. So he drove, this all started in the middle of one and two. He tried to get on the outside of Clint Boyer. He tried to roll around him on the outside. It got up high and just the car would not turn and he got in the wall. Well, you see right here in the 42 of Kyle Larson had that penalty had to make an extra trip down pit road and because of that he is barely in front of the 19 of Martin Truex. You're fighting to save a lap. Well that battle is slowing the 19 of Truex down. He's tried to pass him a couple times. Here's a replay. He pulls underneath the 42 and Larson has to race him. Why this matters is because remember Cole Pern fuel only win the stage get a playoff point. He didn't figure this traffic in and the 11 of Denny Hamlin is gaining three four five tenths a lap. With seven to go, I think we're going to see a battle. You see Denny Hamlin right there, 10 car legs back. Junior, we're going to have a battle before this stage is over. Will tires win this stage? As you see, two Penske teammates on the right side of your screen racing for third. Hamlin's took, hung a left in the middle of the corner. Will he get to that corner panel? He needs to get right there to pull the air off of him. Try to drag him back. Didn't quite make it. Fighting for that one playoff point and the win of the stage. Martin Trex Jr. has two car links as they enter turn three. Hamlin running up high. Yeah. Truex Jr. down low. Will he have the momentum if they come off of turn four? Yeah. Hamlin fighting all the way down the front stretch. Not going to get there. Truex Jr. gets the win. Stage winner, MTJ, by George. You heard it. MTJ, Martin Truex Jr. helping his crew chief out, Rick, and using it, that strategy. Yeah, teammates behind. Finishing third and fourth, Keslowski actually was able to get by Logano for that third spot. Locked together well on that bottom groove, but do not accelerate as well as Keselowski did. But here they come. They've got a run formed. Back up to the back bumper of that two car. Brad goes down to block. Denny to the high side. That's what you got to do. Try to force your way into that middle. Take that outside line. So look at this bottom line. Look who's leading this bottom line. Kyle Bush, we hadn't seen him all day. He was running back mid-pack. Now here he is on the inside of the three of Austin Dillon, who's also driven up from the back, having issues right now. All right, would you call what Brad Keselowski just did there blocking? Absolutely. He just go up and block yeah. the 11? He made a move to block the run the 11 had, absolutely. And that's okay. I think it's blocking as long as it's not real late, puts anybody in a bad situation. Blocking's part of this sport, part of this package, part of this rule package. But Martin Trex Jr. continues his march toward the front again. That was smart, but Brad, uh, Martin Trex Jr. didn't run tight on the 11. So therefore, they really didn't side draft and slow each other down. That was a smart move not to lose sight or lose reach of that two car out front. Side draft by the 19, trying to create a run down here into turn three. Inching ahead for the lead. There he goes, actually, for second place. He's trying to take that second spot away from teammates Denny Hamlin. He looks as though he'll get it, but a big wiggle the there of in front of the bit. 11. Yeah. What a save by Brad Keselowski, although this could take him out of contention for winning here in right Michigan. Here. 
drives into turn three. See the sparks already coming out of the car. Right rear tire is flat. Look at the save. He's got the wheel to the right, chasing up the racetrack, now to the left. It's really great job of, of driving this car. So that, the sparks are the track bar mount. Basically, the car sitting on the track bar mount. And that probably what is what saved, helped him kind of save. It saved the quarter panel the for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Instead of falling down on the bodywork, the track bar mount was kind of like a crutch. It held it up, did a lot of sparking, but what a save by Brad. Because look at this, 180 miles an hour. I'm going to slide it like it's no big deal, staying in the gas, driving it. You haven't seen the tires locked up yet. Now he gets on the brakes when it's backwards. You see the 20 pushing that 18 pretty well. Here Jones did a really good job of pushing. He's going to push him right up here by that 19. If that 19 is not careful, Truex losing the lead down here at one and two. Up the racetrack goes the 18. Kyle Busch takes it away in this one lap shootout for the stage two win. Can he hang on to it now? Martin Truex Jr. with momentum right behind the 18. And here comes the one, the 22 as well. Logano with momentum to the bottom of the track. Kyle Busch way up the racetrack as he exits turn four. The, the gap the closed, and they slide behind him. Behind Austin Dillon has an issue. The 10 of Eric Almirola hard into the wall as well. Daniel Hemrick had some contact there. Not sure what happened there. 10 comes up the racetrack, I think that the eight hits the 10 right there, turns him into the three, spins the three down the racetrack. So the 10 came up the racetrack thinking there's a little bit more room there. The eight makes contact with the right rear quarter panel of the 10 car, turning him into his teammate, Austin Dillon. Sends him down in through the grass. All right, see right here, neither line is locked in. A little help from the 42 to the 24. That might be what Kurt Busch needs. And inside line's forming up pretty well, though, as well. Joey Logano trying to edge in front of Kurt Busch. And a final groove, at least on the front row. He's been good these last few restarts. So Logano up front as the freight train works its way down the back stretch and into three. Logano, then Kurt Busch. Now here comes the 42 teammates trying to work together here. The 42 of Kyle Larson coming on. And behind them, Denny Hamlin in that 11 car. He got about four spots in turn three. He drove to the bottom. This car stuck on the people. This great corner for Hamlin. Oh, up the racetrack. We got and crash. they're going to make contact. The yes, behind them. That's oh. Boyer. 14 of Boyer into the wall, and they were three wide before the caution came out. Oh, he got hooked, it looked like, or, or just had a moment where overcorrected the car into the fence hard. I don't know if there was contact between him and it was like Paul Menard. Paul Menard, yeah. They got a lot of work to do on this 14 car. They got to get that rear deck lid put back on. Well, Blaine, he did a nice job of laying back just a little bit and getting some, getting a run to push that one car. Now the one car the shortest way around the corner. Can he clear the 22? I think 22 staying on the quarter panel. Now they're side by side off of turn two. It's a drag race down the back stretch. The 22 with momentum on the outside, but the one hanging right in there. Here comes Kurt Busch again. As they enter one or enter three, the one trying to outduel the 22. He's going to have the advantage, though, the 22 with momentum as they come out of turn side four. Side 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 draft and Blaney, the teammate. What's he going to do? Is he going to help his teammate to 22? He is. I didn't know if he'd go three wide there for the lead. I think he was scared to go three wide, not clear him and get stuck in the bottle. He pushed the 22 out there. Now he's fighting for second. He's going to try to take it away from the one. And he dives down. He doesn't want to give the draft to the one. Ryan Blaney has made his way up into second. The caution come out for Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Stenhouse Jr. down the back straightaway, moves out of the way, knows he has a problem. He's got really slow down the back straightaway as he goes around the corner. Tire eventually goes all the way down and round he goes. 
Brad Keselowski on the inside. What a start, though, by the 22. A big shove on Ryan Blaney. Now the two and the 22 will fight for that second spot. Logano with momentum on the outside. Can he pull away from the two and take second away? Here comes a big run behind him. Watch this. Watch the 22 get this big run. He's going to turn left. Blaney blocks him. Man goes to the outside. For the lead, here comes Logano on the outside with a lot of help from Paul Menard and Denny Hamlin. Logano didn't clear him. Now they're going to be side by side. Going to side draft him right here. Look at Blaney hang a left trying to get away from him. The side grab doesn't work. Blaney, Logano side by side through one and two. And here comes the 11 again. And Paul Menard's going to get behind Logano. This is going to help Logano down the back straightaway. Should clear Blaney easily here. We keep talking about the playoff picture. What if Paul Menard, who's going to go to victory lane, he would instantly be in and move that cut line down. He could change everything. Logano out front again, though. Now Blaney has fought back into second. Paul Menard third, and right behind him, the two of Brad Keselowski. Pinsky side looks tough right now, don't they? Basically got the top four positions as the Wood Brothers and their so association with Pinsky. Huge cat and mouse game going on up front for the lead. See Joey Logano on the bottom right there. Kevin Harvick got a big run. That really helped Harvick, got a ton of clean air, got a ton of just amazing straightaway speed. The next lap, Logano said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take away your lane. And look what it did to Harvick, how much ground he lost. So right now, Kevin Harvick's having to guess where Logano is going to go. You already know that Logano can take his air away. Which line do you need to take? He's Here it fast. comes. Yeah, he's fast either way. I mean, if Logano goes high, the four cars fast on the bottom, and That's, here he goes to the inside. This is for the lead. Harvick trying to take it away from Logano. Oh, he's right on that corner panel. He's trying to side draft here down the front straightaway. Good job there, right on corner exit. A good time to try that move because the, the two of Keselowski is far enough behind him where he can't try to take advantage of this. Side drafting again. Harvick diving low one more time. I think he cleared him. And Logano didn't even try to get down the racetrack or try to get back to the corner panel or running tight or anything. So much corner entry speed for that four car. He just, he just was able to drive in the corner deeper, turn left and just clear the 22 pretty easily. Now, Steve, what information are you giving Kevin Harvick? I know they've said they've got enough fuel, but are you now with the lead? Can you now give information to your driver? Hey man, try to save us some fuel. Absolutely, absolutely. Find a manageable distance, whether that's two car lengths, three or four. As you see, the 22 close back in on the rear bumper of the four. I'm not sure if he's better than the four or if Kevin Harvick is driving out of the mirror. You see he's out of the throttle right here. Is that handling? Let's watch it down the straightaway. Looks like he's going to run wide open, get a little toe off the lap car, the 51 right here. He'll move underneath Cody Ware. He likes this. He likes when the 22 is going to catch a 51. It might hold him up a little bit. Nope, the 22 goes by clean. There are no guarantees with two laps. Momentum can be lost. Say the car does stumble. Man, it has enough fuel, but maybe it stumbles just for a second. That's all it would take for Denny Hamlin to be to the rear bumper of the four of Kevin Harvick. 1.5 seconds, separate one and two. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. All right, Lambert, go hard, go hard. Kevin Harvick's been driving since getting a go-kart for his kindergarten graduation. 43 years old now, people have asked, when are you going to retire? Well, his son, who now is seven and also has a go-kart, said, Dad can't retire until I can race against him on the racetrack. Well, wife Delena has said, I'm not sure if I can handle that much more racing. Kevin Harvick, though, after a dominant 2018 and a slow start to 2019, does he have enough fuel to get all the way around? Coming out of turn four. Kevin Harvick is going to hold him off. He wins in Michigan. Nice job, Kevin. Hell oh, yeah, good job. Got a lot of guys running out of gas on this last lap. The one car of Kurt Busch. Is Blaney. out of gas on the back straightaway. Blaney actually came down pit road. Blaney came to pit road. Yeah, that's changing the finishing order right there. Busher out of gas. The three of 
Awesome. Dylan out of gas. Should have enough fuel to do a burn. That moved the sixth <laughs> up to about 12th place. So those cars running out of fuel was a big deal for Ryan Newman in that six car. Kevin Harvick wins the Monster Energy Cup Series for the second time in 2019. Uh, winning races is, is what it's all about. And just can't do it without all you guys. I mean, to come here to Michigan and win for Ford, and, and I know how much Mobile One likes to beat that shell car, so that makes it cool. <laughs> Keelan, how was the ride with Dad? It was kind of scary at first, then I liked it. Then you liked it, but did you obey everything he said? Did you keep your fingers in your ear and all that? Yep. Was the burnout scary? That's yep. okay. We're going to do another one. There you go. Kevin's going to promise another burnout for the fans and for Keelan. What a moment for this family.